All right, let's explore the Multicat tool. As you can see right here, I have a sphere. I'm gonna create the uh, wireframe on the shaded mode so you can see what it looks like. And um, we're gonna use the Multicat tool real quick. The Multicat tool is this icon right here, Multicat tool. Uh, we're gonna use this to cut, slice, and insert edges on a polygon. In order to use the Multicat tool, you need to have the modeling toolkit open and to launch the modeling toolkit we go to the very top of the status bar and we click on the very first icon okay so when I select the object um, I can access the multi-cut tool right here on my shelf or I can hold the shift key and right mouse button and go to multi-cut okay I can also go to the mesh tools and multi-cut okay to reset the tool go to the multi-cut options and click on reset tool okay what can we do with the multi-cut tool I'm gonna zoom in first of all I can combine edges I can go from here and then click on the opposite corner and hit enter right I can start a cut from an edge cut into the face and then hit enter I can then connect those edges so edge I'm going from a vertex to vertex and then I hit, hit enter vertex to vertex and then hit enter I can also go from one edge to another edge and hit enter can go from one edge to the center of a polygon and then to another edge and hit enter but one of the most amazing things that you can do with this tool is that I can click somewhere on the viewport and then click somewhere else on the viewport so I can get a straight line and you will notice that I have a line of direction okay if we go to the modeling toolkit you will notice that under slice tool I have the options to delete faces and extract faces let me deselect those if I hit enter to validate the cut you will notice that I've cut my sphere based on the camera view let me undo this now again to do that we click from one side of the canvas to another side and we hit enter if I select extract faces and let me increase the value when I click on my viewport on one side and then click on another side and hit enter you will notice that I will extract the faces okay so the bigger the gap the bigger the extraction let me do 10 by 10 by 10 and I'm gonna click from here and then hit enter you notice that now the gap is bigger than the one that we had before before we had one now we have ten now the other option it's called delete faces remember that line that we got when we created the cut this line right here if I hit enter anything on that direction will be deleted okay again just click on one side of your canvas and click on another side and you will notice that my direction goes this way if I want to delete the opposite what I would do I would go from this corner to this corner and now my direction is pointing towards the bottom so when I hit enter it deletes so let's look at a practical application for the cut tool so I'm on a top view if I hit spacebar you can see what my polygon looks like so I've created a shape using the create polygon tool and I have one two three four five six seven eight edges obviously this is not gonna work so what we need to do we need to convert this shape into quads I'm gonna use my multi-cut tool 
and I'm gonna go from one corner to another corner and I'm gonna hit enter one corner to another corner and hit enter so to get out of component mode I can either go right here and click on object type the shortcut is F8 or I can right mouse button and go to object mode now if I hit Q and select my polygon you will notice that now I have perfect quads if I want to subdivide this by hand what I would do I would have to first make sure that delete faces is not selected I would click on the outside of the polygon on my canvas and then click somewhere else on the canvas and then I would hit enter so it has created an edge I can hit Q for selection tool I can right mouse button and select edges so now with the move tool W I can move my edge and create a more subdivided area right here if I want to do the same thing here again the multi cut tool click here to here hit enter since we are already in edges I would hit the W key for move and then I would move my edge so now when I hit 3 I get a nicer curve and this is the practical application of the multi-cut tool.